The Young Bucks are one of, if not the most successful tag teams in the world right now. And can you believe it? They've never properly been in the WWE. But therein lies the point. If you had the idea that you were going to be successful outside of Vince McMahon's realm, post WCW's collapse, everyone would have thought you were crazy. But the Young Bucks did it, and the Young Bucks changed the wrestling business. Why? Here's why. As ever, some caveats to make first. At no point am I saying that I don't think the Young Bucks would do well in WWE. Of course they do well in WWE, because they do well everywhere they go, because they're fun, and they're entertaining, and they're awesome, and frankly, they just get it. And when you get it, you get it. Even though when you do get it, you've got to say it a lot. But somewhat incredibly, Matt and Nick have absolutely blitzed the wrestling scene without ever going through what many consider to be the big leagues. And this was all proven tenfold when they recently signed a contract with Ring of Honor and New Japan that was so good, even some execs in WWE went, yeah, if I was in the Young Bucks, I'd sign that deal. It was that good. Undoubtedly deserving of it, the team's power to craft their own path is nothing short of inspiring. Imagine I had told you back in the early 2000s, two guys that go around just super kicking everyone are gonna go out onto the indie scene and make a great living out of it. You would have told me I was crazy. This was the height of WWE's boom, or at least the latter part of it. And if you wanted to be a wrestler, that's where you had to go. That's where you wanted to go. On top of that, at that time, the independents weren't considered a viable choice if you wanted to make proper big bucks. Now, it wasn't a pun. That was just my brain. I obviously have young bucks on the brain, so I moved bucks in there. Look, just forget about it. We're moving on. In fact, many people saw the indie scene as just a way to keep working so they could slowly make their way back to WWE. Even though more prominent ones would turn up from time to time, like TNA, they were never at the same level. So if you're a wrestler, you're like, okay, I want to be at the highest level. I want to earn the most money. I'll aim for the big leagues. I mean, look at Christian. He himself said that during his tenure with Total Nonstop Action, people would stop him in the street and say, have you retired? I think that kind of sums it up. As the landscape changed, however, so did how a wrestler could operate. And the Young Bucks were at the forefront of this movement. I'm sure there were loads of people that called them stubborn or accused them of not getting it. But there's that word again. And the complete opposite of true. Believing in their own abilities, the Southern California brothers saw the non-WWE world in a different light to most. They saw it as a place they could have creative control. They saw it as a place they wouldn't be held back. And they saw it as a place that they'd get out as much as they put in. And boy, did they put in. PWG, Dragon Gate, TNA, New Japan, Dragon Gate USA, Ring of Honor. If they could work, they worked and every time their brand just got a little bit bigger. In many ways, they acted like a band. No gig was a bad gig, it was just a way to get more exposure and a way to continually get better. You could argue that the indie boom of a few years ago helped this no end, but I would argue that the Young Bucks helped that boom start in the first place. They treated the indie scene like their home and they treated the indie scene like it actually meant something. And because they thought it meant something, have a guess what happened. I thought it meant something too. That's how they were able to sell a ton of merchandise, ask for more cash with each subsequent booking, and eventually make a name for themselves. Think of that, a team, a pair of wrestlers that have never properly gone through WWE have a name for themselves. You can find Casual Dave, Casual Dave, who kind of likes wrestling, he mostly watches WWE, but Casual Dave, I bet you any money at least, has heard the name The Young Bucks. At one point in time, that was unheard of. There's others who helped, of course. Names like Daniel Bryan, Colt Cabana, and Chris Hero instantly spring to mind. But no one has ever been offered a deal like The Young Bucks have been offered, and because of that, they deserve the praise, and they deserve a video like this. Well, I understand that me, you know, singing the praises of The Young Bucks isn't as good as an awesome contract, but this is all I can give you, so I'm giving it to you now. They've proven you can have a career as a pro wrestler without going the WWE route, which instantly gives hope to thousands of superstars who may not think they're right for Vince McMahon's company. And what a lovely thing to be able to say you did. You paved the way for others while continually making yourselves an even bigger success. That's downright awesome and a testament to the wrestling world 
we now live in. Nobody will ever compete with the WWE again because they're just too big and they're just too well known. But when people say they're the only game in town, it's simply not true. Now, will the indie scene bubble burst eventually? Of course it will. This is pro wrestling and that just happens sometimes. The bottom falls out of everything. But even with all that, you know who will survive indefinitely? The Young Bucks they know what they're doing. As talented outside of the ring as they are within it, I would imagine that yes, eventually they do find their way to NXT or maybe even the WWE main roster, but that is at least two years away and I bet you that when that two years rolls around they're even bigger stars than they are now. Why? Because that's what they do. They get bigger and then they find a way to get bigger still and then they find a way to get even bigger than that and then they super kick someone in the face. That's just the Young Bucks way. Now don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you think and then like, share and subscribe. You can even come tell me on Twitter at SimonMiller316 and then go spam the Young Bucks Twitter so they see this video. But obviously don't do that. It was a joke. I retract that statement. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm Simon from What Culture, and don't look for the truth because someone has lied. Just turn on YouTube and come get wide. It's awful gets worse each week.